Hello and welcome to this case from First Opinion Veterinary Ultrasound. I'm Dr Camilla Edwards. So this was a case of a 14 year old male neutered domestic short haired cat with a history of upper respiratory disease and eye disease which had now resolved. Now was off food and vomiting. So here we're scanning the kidney. Um, so we've got kidney here. Um, and on first um, appearances, it, it, it seems fairly normal. There's just one bit that's making me question, and it's a bit hyperechoic bit that we see pop into view here. Just there, where the, the edge of the kidney indents also. So um, on closer inspection of this kidney, we could see some free fluid in the retroperitoneal space and we can also see this indent just there this hyperechoic wedge and the margin of the kidney is um, not not smooth um, slightly irregular it goes in slightly at that hyperechoic point and this is very typical for what we see for infarcts in the kidney okay so this is the other kidney and there's again some free fluid around it And we have those irregular margins with some hyperechoic wedges in them. Very typical for infarcts. So we saw some free retroperitoneal fluid surrounding both kidneys. The kidneys had irregular margins and there were hyperechoic wedges consistent with infarcts. Cats with renal infarcts are four and a half times more likely to have hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. But in this case, a quick cardiac focus exam did not reveal an enlarged left atrium.